Hi, this is Luke from the Chef's Academy showing you how to make beer batter pickles. I've got pastry flour, which you can find in a lot of grocery stores. I've got cornstarch. Of course, I've got the drained pickles, a little bit of salt and baking soda. I'm going to make up the dry mix. From the dry mix, I add some beer. I can make extra of this dry mixture, keep it tightly covered in the pantry, and then when I want to use it, I can add three parts of the flour mixture to one part of beer. This style is a little bit more like the tempura, where it's going to be lighter and really crispy. The crispness is going to come from the cornstarch and making sure I don't mix it before I'm ready to fry. Just want to take a little bit of the batter. And again, you can use any kind of beer you want. This is a light beer. I don't need to feel like I need to mix it completely. A couple lumps are going to be all right. Looks like that's pretty good. I'm doing pickle slices. Those are a little bit more difficult to work with. Spears are pretty much dip and drop. To make sure the batter sticks to the pickles, I'm going to add a little bit of flour. Give this a quick coat. It's important that I get all this excess flour off or that's going to uh, jeopardize my final product. A little flour hel helps to stick, a lot of flour, it falls off. If you have a basket, it's probably a little bit easier. I'm gonna go in the batter, making sure I get good coverage. From the batter, I go onto my draining rack This is going to help us get that super thin coat, which is going to crisp up excellently. The fryer has been preheated to 350 degrees. Anytime I'm using a batter, I want to make sure to drop the fryer basket. If I just set those in the basket and then drop the fryer, they're going to stick to the bottom. I'm at the preheated fryer, the baskets are dropped, the pickles are going in, making sure I don't burn my fingers. I want to go on the quick side. These are small, they'll cook quickly, and I want them to be done at the same time. One thing I can do to help even the cooking on the top and the bottom is put a basket on top that submerges the product, the pickles, and before you know it, we're all done. When I'm using the fryer, I drain on a paper towel, then I'm going to season with salt right away. This has been Luke with the Chef's Academy showing you how to make beer batter pickles.